What's happening, running fans? Welcome back to another episode of This Week in Athletics. My name is Lloyd, your host for today's show, and we are diving straight into the headlines from the running world over the past seven days. First off, a massive congratulations to Katerina Johnson-Thompson, or as we know her, KJT. She made the final six nominees in the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Awards after winning the World Championships Heptathlon this year in Budapest and after recovering from an Achilles rupture, which she sustained in the Tokyo Olympic Games. Now, if you're not aware of what the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Awards is, it's a UK-based award where the biggest sports stars come together and the public vote for who their favourite or most deserving winner should be. KJT not only made the final six amongst some of the biggest sports stars across the UK, but she actually finished third on the night, which is quite rare for an athletics or track and field sports star to even feature in, let alone make the top three. Now let's talk about the Cardiff Met Uni Christmas Classic. It's always a hotly anticipated one. It's one of the first indoor races that we get to look forward to, and it's before that Christmas break. Now this year, we had Laura Muir, Georgia Bell, Ennis Fitzgerald, Piers Copeland and Jake Smith, just to name a few of the headline runners. Now, it was Laura Muir who took the win in the women's 3000 metres. It's the first time we've seen her race since the summer and she dropped a draw dropping performance of 8 minutes and 34 seconds. Joining her on the podium was Georgia Bell, who most recently won the Telford 10K, and Innes Fitzgerald, who most recently won the European Under-20 Cross Country Championships. Both of those athletes performing very well on the UK all-time list. So switching distances, we're stepping it up to the half marathon. I've got to pay homage to Josh Kerr. Here we go. I feel a little bit better now. At the San Diego Holiday Half Marathon, where he actually raced it last season, where he ran over 63 minutes. And him and the team at Brooks Beast thought, you know what? We're going to go back down there to San Diego just before the Christmas break, test our endurance with a 61 50 one. Now that actually places him amongst the top British athletes in the half marathon this year, proving that even middle distance specialists can conquer the longer distances with some form of finesse. But it didn't come without controversy. There were people saying that it was a net downhill course, uh, which is true. There is a net downhill element to uh, to consider. But only from Josh's own mouth, as he had in an interview with Runners World, he said, look, we did it last year on around 63 and change. This year, we're testing whether I can take a jump forward, which he has done with 61.51. And let's not forget, off the back of the 63-minute half that he did at the same race last year, he went on to win the World Championship 1500 metres and run 3.29. So now he's a lot faster with more endurance, improved endurance. What does that mean for his 1500 metres? All I'm seeing is something very, very fast. Now to the other side of the world, the Tata Steel Kolkata 25k race is always a race that has fast times and this year was no different. Now in the men's race it was Kenyan Daniel Mbenyo who took the win and in the women's race it was Sutuma Asefa Kabede from Ethiopia who took the honours. Mbenyo's performance didn't just win the race and secure the big prize pot of money but it also was a world best mark in the 25k race. And finally a nod to the historic and one of the oldest cross country races in history the South of Thames cross country race which was held in Croydon in the famous Lloyd Park, one of the hardest courses that we have in the UK. Seven and a half miles of challenging cross country for both the men and the women. So this race dates back to 1888 and it was Belgrave who took the team win in both the men's and the women's and continued on their dominance this cross country season. In the individual races, it was Georgie Bruinvels and Ben Cole who took the win. So that's a wrap for this week in athletics. If you've enjoyed the roundup, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more updates from the running world. My name is Lloyd, your host for today's episode and I'll see you next week.